This is what Aaron Boone said today on the Zoom call with the media about DJ LeMahieu and what the Yankees think of him. There's not much more to say about DJ other than, you know, I think if we look over 2019 through 2020 and did a two-year MVP in the American League, it's probably him. His play completely speaks for itself, you know, and then you couple the fact he's this really great teammate that's been, despite his quiet reputation, a tremendous leader for us and and an influential just person by the way he goes about things. So I think it's no secret that he is probably our number one priority to bring back this winner. And I, I know Cash is working on that. And hopefully at the end of all this, DJ's a Yankee for a long time. When you hear the manager speak like that, and you heard previously what Cashman said, the Yankees don't do anything by accident. They don't say anything that's off script. For them to say that, Don, I'm going to go out on a limb and go, there's no way they don't sign him. No, there's no there's that, because they would have incredible egg on their face for Aaron to come out and say, you know, he's the MVP the last two years. He's great in the club. Well, I think that they lose some leverage and that DJ LeMay would go, okay, if I'm that great and even though I want to come back, well, I, I want top money because I know for a fact the Blue Jays want him. The Giants supposedly want him. Uh, the Dodgers are sniffing around. Outside corner could be the Mets Sniffle. as well. And there's other teams out there that probably are stealth about it and just laying back because of the Yankees. But if their agent or or DJ's agent starts to go out and say, listen, we want five years and the Yankees are stuck at four and then starts to solicit bids, maybe Hal Steinbrenner doesn't go to the fifth year. But again, when just being around this organization for 35 years, I have never seen them that publicly effusive about a player right. and then lo- they, they they simply can't lose him they would look they, terrible to lose him so for every yankee fan that's tweeting me at all hours of the night why haven't they signed lemayu yet i can't see them not signing him the way they're talking about him. i think they are willing to go to five but they are not going to go to five until somebody else is willing to go to five and that can't happen until lemayu starts talking to other teams so they're going to sit back they're going to stay at four and then maybe nobody offers him a fifth year, and they think they can get LeMayu back at four. If the, somebody goes to five, if the Giants go to five, if the Mets go to five, then they'll go to five. So they know they're going to do that. So they're not going to lose him, Michael. It's just a matter of waiting until he gets that other offer, and he hasn't gotten it yet. But eventually, the longer you wait, he's going to. those other teams are going to start making offers. And when somebody goes to five, bing, then the Yankees will go to five. What would be interesting if somebody else goes to six? And I, and I don't think they'll do that. No. So just and wait. I don't think the Yankees want to go to five. I mean, they might right, go they to four to. with a vesting option that's where it. if you do this in the fourth year, but that's then all this fine. kicks in. Right. But you don't have to do that until somebody offers him a fifth year. Right. 